Okay. Hey friends, it's Carol at the library. How are you today? I'm gonna read us some books. Today I'm gonna to read one of our library books called Hotel Bruce. And Bruce is a bear and he's kind of a grumpy bear. So let's see what happens at Hotel Bruce. Bruce was a bear who lived with four geese. Reluctantly. Reluctantly means he's not 100% sure he really wants to do it. But he was their mom, which meant every winter he migrated south with them. What looks funny to me is they're on a bus. They would fly, right? The geese would fly, but since Bruce can't fly because he's a bear, they're taking the bus. Right? So they've just landed in Florida. And it, this sign over here says, welcome to Miami. Right, there's lots and lots of geese. Everybody looks like they're having fun on the beach. We have a few crocodiles playing what looks like a ukulele and the tambourine. He would have preferred to hibernate. Right. Migration and motherhood is hard work for a bear. It made Bruce tired and grumpy. That's why when Bruce came home one spring to find that mice had moved in and turned his house into a busy woodland hotel, he was not happy. And the mouse is saying, welcome to the Northwoods Hotel. You're home away from home. Bruce was in no mood for rodents. He turned them out of the house and headed to bed. That's when the trouble started in his bedroom. All right, it looks like we have a raccoon, some turtles under the bed, a moose, a porcupine. It was a long night. Can I have a glass of water? You're hogging the sheets. I want to snuggle. I need to pee. The next morning, Bruce woke to the sounds of birds chirping and squirrels chattering and possums having a pillow fight. Squirrel! It only got worse, right? Look who's in the toilet, right? There's a frog enjoying the water in the toilet, right? There's a stinky skunk. <laughs> There's a beaver taking a nibble of the breakfast table. And it looks like Bruce sat on a porcupine and got some prickles in his fur. It's a bath. These veggies and spices are good for your shells, right? And the fox is trying to convince the turtles to hop into a bowl of soup. I'm not sure that's going to happen. Thank you for choosing the Northwoods Hotel. We hope you enjoyed your stay. Our bellhops will see to your luggage. Right? And those are the four geese. Bruce growled. Bruce grumbled. Bruce asked to speak with the manager. The mice went into another room for a moment. I'm not tipping you, he said to the geese. <laughs> The two mice came back wearing ties. I'm the manager, I have a tie. No, I'm the manager, my tie has stripes. They took my ties, said that mouse. They were interrupted by a commotion in the kitchen. <gasps> what could the commotion be? Right, looks like some smoke. Run for your lives, the turtle soup has gone bad. And here we see the turtles running after the chef, the fox, with silverware, right? They have forks and a spoon and a couple of butter knives. It was a disaster, and the turtles had taken his best silverware. Bruce had started to lose his cool. Roar! I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. Maybe we should hire a translator. The geese stepped in to smooth things over. Honk, 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 honk. Oh, he's with you? And the mice understood. Sort of, right? And they gave him a bellhop uniform also. Just when it couldn't get any worse, right? We have some tourists showing up, right? And they are elephants with a lot of luggage. It did. This was the last straw. Well, really, the last elephant. Finally, Bruce lost his temper. This is not a hotel. This is my house. Everybody out right now. Out. 
right? And we see everybody sort of has their head down. They're looking a little grumpy, sad. I think if you look outside, you might see we're getting some rain, right? So some weather's coming. Oh, sheesh, I thought they'd never leave, right? And then Bruce kicked the three mice out too, right into the rain. Bruce's house was quiet, a quiet, restful, peaceful place once again, and there were no more visitors. All right, honk, honk, honk. Or at least for a little while, because we see right here, they're letting the mice in. You know what happens once they let the mice in for a little bit. I bet some other other friends will try to come to the hotel as well. I hope you like this book, Hotel Bruce by Ryan T. Higgins. And if you like this book, uh, we can get this book or other books like it for you at the library. So give us a call and let us know what you would like. Thanks, friends.